Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kogules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Dean of Kogules. I'm the founder and the director of the Kogules Industry Spine Arc and the Kogules Nation. For today's video, I will be taking a look at Puppy Linux. This version I'm using though is Bookworm Pup64. This is Puppy Linux based upon Debian 12, codename Bookworm. I took a look at Debian 12 some time ago. So this will basically be a small rehash of some Debian functions. But otherwise, this is a completely new operating system to me, that is. Uh, I did say I needed more information when I did the Linux distribution tier list not that long ago. And we have a lot of different options here, right? We have a lot of different options. So I could probably just go into here real quick. And I was probing around a little bit ago in terms of using Puppy and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, there is that. You'll log in as root automatically, but I'm still gonna use sudo. So here it is. Now this is based upon, I think, LXQt if I'm not mistaken. That changed the root password. Right, so this isn't all that bad, right? I just want to use America, Los Angeles, which is my time zone. I can actually find it. There it is. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Then in terms of XRander. Then for 1080, I want 1080. 1080, 60. I will go ahead and do that. We'll change the resolution. So that's not gonna be too bad then. Uh, make that permanent. I'd like that to be permanent. Screen resolution, xorf.conf. Okay, so I think that should be fine then. All I have to do, oh wow, this uses open box. I didn't even realize it was actually open box based. So there's that. I will grab one more thing. But then I will do spice vd agent. I think this is, It'd be better if I actually did two of those. That would be silly, would it? No, so I need to use Synaptic. I need to find Synaptic then. Okay, so that was already changed. Set an administrator password. I will make a strong and complicated password. So I think that should help. Keyboard layout, time zone, host name. Let's restart X to do that. So X should be okay. So we're good there on that front. I can do a lot of setup here. There's like a lot of setup things you can do. It is insane how customizable this is, despite being extremely lightweight. Look at this. Look at that. Could you do this with like Mint, which is what I use? I mean, they got like flipping Samba of all things. They got Samba. I mean, Mint does come with Samba, but not as insane as what we're looking at here. Here's the package manager. I think this is the puppy package manager. I want to look for Spice though. No, okay. So all of this is like puppy stuff. Here's APT, so this will be Synaptic, right? This will also use Synaptic. So there's gonna be some for the most part. Spice VD agent, or is it just Spice? Might just be Spice, actually. No, okay, so it looks like Spice is not even on here. All right, so I may have to set this up to like 1080 then. There's the conky. I think the conky comes up by default. I think I need sudo. No, I can just use that then. Because I think I'm already at the root. So I'm good on that front maybe. I'm not entirely sure about it though. But I am going to let that update. And I'm going to take a look at some other things around here. You can also right click since this looks to be open box based. These are all the games that seem to come with uh puppy linux at least this version there's solitaire it will be klondike solitaire uh for those that don't know 
it'll be your standard solitaire. That's what everybody knows, a solitaire. But I think there may be other games as well, like Pyramid or 40 Thieves or anything like that. Yes, I have played Pyramid. Multimedia stuff, this is all the multimedia stuff. There's an ISO type deal. CD, DVD, Werner, I don't know what that is. Uh, we got whatever that is. Okay, it's UVC then. I don't know what GUVC view is. But I do know about Simple Screen Recorder. I was considering using this one, but I'm using, I think, OBS now, so and I should be fine with that. I just use OBS for everything, really. SM Player is a front end for MPV, just like Celluloid is for MPV. And I actually use Celluloid, weirdly enough. QWinFF, so this is probably some form of FFmpeg. There's Celluloid as well. I do use Celluloid too. This is all the internet stuff, and you do get the ESR release of Firefox. I could get rid of that very easily. Yasm in this form. Not the Yasm that's used to do some x86 assembly stuff. There's some personal stuff. Uh, there's Genie, which is a lightweight uh, integrated development environment. It says here using GTK+. I've actually used Genie before as Genie is actually a fully supported Rust IDE. So if you use Rust and you're on Linux, Genie would probably be a good option for you. Or you could just use VS Codium. I wouldn't recommend using VS Code due to Microsap telemetry. Yes, I call them Microsap for a reason. Uh, we got View, View Noir, which is an image viewer. Empty and Paint is basically a poor man's Krita despite the fact Krita is also free software. For the file system, I could try to do like XFE or rocks filter or rocks filer. This is what rocks filer looks like. And I think it goes to like, where's the home? This is home. Okay, this is actually the home configuration and whatnot. And then I've already taken a look at this earlier. Uh, the If I do apt update, or upgrade. Curl is actually being uh, tested. It's in the Debian testing repositories. There is a vulnerability in Curl that I don't know about, and I hadn't even taken a look at it, but I do know there is a vulnerability that is getting fixed in the new version of Curl. And this will be out on all Linux machines. It'll probably be out by the time this video is already out, so eh, who cares? Then I can also use XFE. Oh wow, XFE is completely different from Roxfiler. So that's extremely interesting. There's puppy reference. I don't know what that's all about, but I think that should be okay for the most part. I'll just use the right click menu. I think I should be fine with that. But yeah, not bad at all, right? I'd say, I mean, it's like a basic sort of setup. Now, if you did want to try to game on this, you could always try using the Debian gaming tutorial. That is a tutorial for Debian users, and I think this will apply to this variant of Puppy Linux. There are other bases that Puppy uses as well, and I will not be using all of them because I do want to check out other operating systems in the near future. But that being said, I think that is about it. If you do want to do any sort of chatting with me or want to collaborate with me in the future, but don't want to use the email that's always linked in our description, don't worry. Feel free to join our Matrix community, which is still being built at this time, though I think I put it on a hiatus for the time being. But otherwise, that's about it for this video. Thank you, and good night.